Okay, um, dear me, I just uploaded a video <laughs> and I must say, um, dang, there was no sound on it. <coughs> All right, so what I thought I'm going to do is uh, I checked, the, I should have sound here, I played around a little bit here with these things and I screwed it up. So uh, I just show this video and try to re-doc, uh, to re-say what I said there before. It will be for sure different, but it, uh, at least we'll do a, somehow the trick, yeah? Okay, so I fire this up. Uh, I use this updater here on top, and then it did everything nicely here, and then it said calculate dependencies and failed. Dangling. So then I got value error IO operation on close file blah 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 update failed. Yeah, because it, if it can't uh, calculate dependencies, then everything is uh, ready for the trash can, and it couldn't do it right. So that's what I had then. You see, I'm just playing it in a VLC player here and try to document this thing. So what I did, I opened then the terminal and just went, uh, you can sudo it, I prefer to go sudo uh, to root, and you can see I did here who am I, just to check if I really root, yes I have the, the red color-ish, but I just wanted to check, you know, looks very important uh, <laughs> if you do funny things like this, right? So here, that is still the script, cl-update, that is the uh, calculate Linux script, which uh, should be run here by this here, by this little orange thing. That is the uh, uh, graphical updater, right? That's like PAMAC. And I think I had the same issue here like I had with uh, other people had with PAMAC. I always uh, used uh, Pac-Man SYYU and I never had these issues. Here I used uh, purely the graphical updater and for the first time I had an issue. So I then still run the, uh, the script from Calculate Linux, CL-update, and as you can see it's working wonderfully. So for some reason there is a glitch in the um, graphical updater, but it's not a big deal. As I said, this is not a deal breaker to me. If something doesn't update, uh, it doesn't break your system usual. Um, you can still work with it, you're not stranded, you're not done. Everything will just be working fine. What I'm talking about here is in a moment. You see Synology Note, uh, Cloud and Cloud Update is running in Vine. Uh, because Synology only supports RPM and Ubuntu depth files. So that means earlier or later I have to boot into um, Ubuntu and then I just show you how these things work. Uh, there is a workaround, I could work actually I think on the web surface with Synology Node, but I just want to show you guys how it has, to, how it's, it's supposed to work. I posted that on Synology forum and asked the developers to build something for Gentoo, for Debian and for... 444. I forgot. Yeah. Debian and Gentoo, that's what I asked for. There was a third one, I forgot. Uh, I have to take my memory pills. I forgot to take my memory pills. <laughs> Alright, so that's what I did here. Um, as you can see, it uh, called the updates totally nice. Asked me, would you like to do this? I said, oh yes, I would like to do this. Uh, it's doing the good job there. Um, yeah, so no problem with the actual script. If you don't do it with a the script, then you have to follow a few steps to keep your system clean. Uh, the CL-update up is uh, made from the uh, developers of Calculate. And the nice little script, it thinks of almost everything possible, and it helps you to keep your system clean. So it will update all this stuff, and it will ask you, unmerge all these things, blah, 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 the packages you don't need anymore, and I would definitely go for this and unmerge it. And then off it goes, right? So you keep this uh, clean system. <coughs> that's the other jerk <laughs> using the mouse on the screen <laughs> you know so that's what it is um, what I could do I go a little bit forward here dum -dum. So I don't know really what I all said there so this is uh, these are the updates here um, you see I'm just looking around it says installing again uh, or oh, I'm clicking around doing 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 oh yeah what I said here is let me stop that here because I use nodes right and Notes from Synology is actually like uh, Evernote. So it has all the functions of Evernote, but not the limitations. So actually I would call it at least a premium account I have. And my wife and I, we use it heavily. And it would be $90 a year, right? Uh, and I guess this is Canadian dollars. So that would be for me maybe $110. Multiplied by two is $220 a year. One year. So my Synology station did cost me, it was on sale, I think 398 Canadian. 
So two years of this, and the box is paid by itself. If you only use uh, compare Evernote to this station node, which has the same functionality. And I will show that when I boot, uh, when I have to boot one day in Ubuntu, just to show you how it looks like. Um, so actually, if you're a user of Evernote and stuff like that, or you look like a for, for a good uh, organizational system, uh, I would definitely go for Synology Disk Station Node because you have an, uh, a fully media server, you have a cloud backup, you have a cloud server, uh, you have nodes, you have Office there, there is now Synology Drive. Um, I would go in detail what I have all running there because there is a it's a one tool which gets your Dropbox, gets your Google Drive, got, gets your OneDrive and all this stuff. So all you end do on the end is install one client. Yeah, here, that goes. I can't install that one client actually on uh, Gentoo. And that is uh, not nice, let's say. But I skip uh, Calculate Linux for this? No, for sure not. But it makes me dual boot every now and then. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I still come back to the question for us. Uh, what makes us like one distro and don't like the other distros? Not like, I like Linux Lite. Uh, it's well done, it's fast, it's quick, it's sort through. I don't like it. I don't know why. Then if I use MX Linux, which I mean, yeah, uh, Linux Lite is based on Ubuntu, and MX16 or MX17 is based on Debian, and I like it a lot. Uh, why? I can't really say. Like the same with Calculate Linux, uh, why do I like it so much? Whew, that's a good question. I mean, for once, it doesn't have these glitches I had with other operating systems. As I said many times, not every distro runs on every hardware the same. So, and yeah, I had used Calculate Linux for a long time on my Pocket Bell. I think I used it on my Voyager when it was my gaming computer PC. And once I installed my wife's HP Pavilion 17 inch, uh, even Linux Mint had this typical Ubuntu failure that uh, my wireless network disappeared, showed back up, and all these little hiccups. So I was very disappointed. Had the same hiccup with Ubuntu. Um, Lin uh, MX Linux 16 didn't support the uh, sleep function and all this stuff, uh, which it doesn't did with my uh, Packard Bell either. But that's just what it is, um, because it was still based on Jesse. I think once it's here, the 17 is out, it will do, because it's based on uh, Stretch. Uh, having said all this, so I put Calculate Linux on, uh, everything is just working fine, everything. I can't complain. And the same one I had here, you might have, no, you haven't seen that. Um, am I now? No, I'm still in, ah, I'm still in the screen. Then let me finish this. So that is my Evernote, and I think in two years, it, the Genology the knowledge box paid for itself. Not even mentioning that it keeps your data safe. Um, I've got the DS218 Plus. It's a two bay, so you have two eight ter I put in two eight terabyte hard drives. In a moment, I just run hard drive. Uh, and then you have it mirrored. So I'm waiting for Christmas sale so that I get a good deal, and then I buy the second uh, eight terabyte Western Digital Red NAS. Yeah. Yeah. And then I've got it mirrored, and then I've got my trusted little system. Because I just had it for trying out. And it's it's great. It's absolutely great. Uh, bad is that these people don't support um, every distro. They should have their their applications either as Docker so that you can get it everywhere, maybe Snappack or uh, uh, app, uh, an app image, so that you can actually uh, that you get a little bit independent. I mean, the knowledge you wake up. We have the twenty first century. That's the year where Linux is overtaking Windows by far. I mean, quality-wise, it has overtaken it already by far. So no question asked. Uh, let me see what we got here. Uh, video, video. Uh, no, it doesn't show. Okay, so this is it. It's a little confusing. I know now I clear the VLC player. And I hope that I've sounds this time. I would be in tears if I don't have it. As you can see, so it asked me to unmerge, and I said, yeah, unmerge all the stuff, and it did it. it ran, and then system update finished. No problem anymore. This is it. So I can close this. This is now my live system again. That's back to calculate uh, real, not anymore the video which I had to take down. And what I have here is, I think I put that in ISO files. 
Uh, that's my wife's iPad, and there's lots of stuff on it. And as you can see, I've got the AAE files. And I do not like that. I mean, they're useless to me. They have some extra information, most likely for Apple. Um, if you want to search for them, you have a hard time deleting them. So I'll show one more time here. So you just open up your terminal. I'll make it a little bit bigger. Then I use MC for Midnight Commander. Duran, here it is. And then I said I got it in my ISO uh, folder and then down my iPad. And I just use, um, I think, all of them here. So I go in with F9, get my menu. I think it is in command. Switch panel on off. No, external panelize. That's what I want. So as you can see here, I've got oh, star or right? So that's what I use. Then I click here. And I do this away, tuk, tuk, tuk. and then AAE was the extension I was looking for. Press enter, Duran. Now you can see all EEEs. So now I, I press the insert button, and that's just uh, I like to do it. I want to see not that I hit something else, but I don't want to hit because do I trust this system? Yes, uh, trust is good, control is sometimes better. So you see, I got it now. Then I press F8. And 317 files with the end, uh, ending AAE are in these five folders or whatever it is. So I just press enter, boink, it's gone. There's one left, the top one, I will use this too, F8, and goodbye. So now they're gone. So now I go back with F9, then I press F10, F10, and I'm back to terminal. So now here, you can see all the AAE files are gone. Duran. That's how easy you do it. So Midnight Commander is still a very powerful tool. Do not underestimate it. It does a fine job, especially getting rid of files you don't want to know, uh, want, want to have, and you don't want to search for them singly. And yeah, it's a nightmare. So that is so much better. Okay, here's still my TrueCrypt files. You see, I still have some here too. And yeah, I might have. Uh, as I said, I will do that in a virtual box. Show you guys how you encrypt your your distro at boot up and I will try it with a just root partition or with a typical root and home partition setup. And I think that will be a good thing. What else I have what you can't see now because I have to use my super duper Nexus uh, tablet. Uh, here I've got Synology uh, nodes running. So I wrote down something like uh, distros I'm going to test. I have to show some distro. <coughs> oh, I almost died. So Okay, okay short short uh, thing here. I just got another match. Ah, oh, I need my coffee. One moment. Ah, back alive. So I will be um, going through some distros. I never checked Zorin OS. I have a look at this Peppermint because it's a hybrid between XFCE and uh, LXDE. Just I would like to see it. Then I want to see what what we still can do with CentOS because that's now a very old operating system. They're they're their long-term system, how long does it run? Is it seven years or something? It's a long time, so I used it as a server, so it did me a good job as a server. As KDE, I only got KDE 4. Um, so I will see what it does with XFCE and what you can do, especially since you get the uh, RPM files from Synology. I want to see if that still works with that. Then I want to have a check of MX17 when it comes out, solid K. Fedora 27, then I will try Corora 26, which is a very nice distro, uh, nicely themed from Fedora 26, from a guy, from, from a Corora called. And I want to see if you can just update it to 27. Will be interesting. And once Ubuntu and uh, Kubuntu 18.04 LTS comes out, that's the next thing. So these are some distros I want to go over with. And we'll see what I could do with them. Then. Uh, application. I would like to show you guys Catfish and how I use it. It's a very powerful tool. Uh, you should never miss it. Um, then I have a closer look into Docker. I show you guys uh, like this is not a Docker. This is not Plunk. This is not Docky. This is just a uh, second panel. And I prefer this to everything else because XFCE is super stable and you never have any hassle with it in my opinion. Having said this, I will say one day when I had it. I'll put solid K and solid X uh, on. I will sh see if it's still there or if it was just a glitch. Then I'll show you guys maybe something about FreeNAS for your network access storage if you don't buy a Synology box. Still a very powerful tool. 
VeraCrypt, yeah, I'll show you this. I just spoke about it. Then from Synology, I say I will show you guys Node, Drive, Cloud, Cloud Backup. And I will have a closer look to Docker because I think that's a very nice uh, option too. So I know I was flying through a little bit because the ping was just a message that I missed a video call. That's my brother, uh, my brother, my sister-in-law in England. So I will see what's going on. Um, guys, I cut it off here. You have seen um, the Calculate Linux uh, update problem is not really a problem, it's a quick fix, it's nothing big happening. Just use the uh, terminal, go either sudo space cl dash update and use the calculate uh, 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 script from, from the calculate uh, developers and then it should fix everything, no problem and uh, no question asked except that you unmerge everything on the end. Uh, I truly believe this is just a small glitch and it might just be okay now, um, things happen. That wasn't a big deal, it doesn't, it's not a big uh, deal breaker either. Sorry for the first video without sound, that was uh, embarrassing. No, how could this happen? It did. Uh, it's bonus, or not bonus, it's a little hint. You have seen how I use uh, Midnight Commander. Very powerful tool, don't underestimate it. It can do really, really good things. And it saves you all the hassle with these command lines if you SSH into something and want to copy, remove, uh, gmode files, whatsoever. Midnight Commander is your friend there. Does a very, very, very good job. Um, yeah, guys, I have to boot in Linux. I, I used, I choose Linux Mint XFCE uh, based on Ubuntu 16.04, I guess it is. Um, just to show you guys the Synology tools. As I said, I have got Synology tools here running in Wine. I get uh, Cloud, Cloud Backup. I do not get Synology Node Station running. <sighs> Yeah, I hope Synology wakes up and that they do something good so that they can get us calculate uh, or Gen2 users too, right? Okay guys, this was it. I have to do a call. Um, sorry for the first video. Uh, I can't say it won't happen anymore <laughs> because I don't tell you things which I don't know. <laughs> okay, hope it never happens. Okay guys, take care, uh, stay tuned. There is some stuff coming. Uh, I can't promise any more daily videos. Uh, weekly videos for sure. Uh, because I have to train for my um, driving instructor. Uh, all of a sudden I got some pressure, 5th of January lead, just I have to write the uh, driving instructor test and I have to do some assignments before and uh, I struggle with time. A day has only 24 hours. I don't know how that happened, but I figured that just out. <laughs> okay guys, this was me. Before I get carried away, I was so proud that the other video was so short that I didn't get carried away. No big rant about security issues and this they are because that thing got updated again and I don't use it anymore. If somebody spies on me, I do not support these products or companies. So no can do. Don't do that either. Uh, just value your privacy and keep yourself safe and sound. Don't use products which spy on you. What in the world? Why would you do it? Okay guys, this is it now. Before I get carried away, thank you so much. Have a good day and uh, yeah, I think that video was not even half as good as the first one I did but without sound. It didn't help you too much, but you could see how to use uh, Midnight Commander and how to fix the little Calculate glitch update in the graphical update interface. The Calculate script from CL-update from the Calculate developer still works just fine. Okay, on the update went through pretty fast because from Calculate Linux you get uh, pre-compiled uh, binaries and that's a huge advantage compared to Fun2 and Gen2 and all these things. Uh, good operating system but if you have some vanilla then you really have to have many computers that you have time to update one for maybe for google chrome if you would use something like that for four hours compiling okay i get carried away don't want this uh, stay safe guys i hope you subscribe and come back for more videos and let me know in your comments if you would like to have something covered like uh, i do have that synology station which is pretty cool i also still have free nas boxes here around and yeah, I do have to do some, um, I think, distro things. Maybe it's it's good to do this so that we can actually compare to Calculate Linux, right? Because I, as I said, most of the time it's personal preference. Um, why you choose something and why you don't want something else. As I said, Linux Lite is a really, really nice distro. I personally don't like it. I, I have no explanation why, I can't really say. It's a good thing. Uh, Somebody absolute beginner wants it very simple and easy, it's stable, it's fast, it's, it's doing a good job. I just don't like it, I can't say why. MX Linux, I was always a friend of it, it I like it, it's doing a good job. Uh, 
Nice. Calculate Linux is my friend. It's absolutely good. I like it a lot. Used it a lot. Then I was uh, going astray for some time and now I got back again. Uh, yeah, and then I shot myself in a toe here uh, with having the Synology box which doesn't support my operating system. Shame on Synology. Why did you do this? Or why didn't you do this? Okay, got to do this call. Uh, England has now, I think, 10 o'clock, so I don't want, them, want to wake them up anymore. I uh, want to see what they got. Um, okay, guys, stay tuned. Let me know what you like, if you like the idea of uh, having some different distros running. If you want me to test uh, a certain distro and maybe compare it a little bit to Calculate Linux, let me know, guys. Uh, soon I've got my second computer. My Voyager is not anymore a free NAS box. Uh, Voyager's uh, hard drives and stuff goes all in my in my TARDIS. My TARDIS will be holding all the hard drives and my free NAS from, from now on. I need a KVM switch so that I can put my Voyager box back on and that will be my testing platform for everything else. Will there be Calculate Linux on? I'm not 100% sure because I have a pure NVIDIA graphic card in it and I would like to see how Calculate deals with that. Okay guys, stay tuned, let me know what you want and uh, stay safe. Have a good day all and hope to see you soon. And watch my video, subscribe, let me know what you think and what to do better and what you would like to see covered. Okay, this is it now. Before I get carried away, I have to press F Shift F6. Bye bye.